Hi everybody and welcome to another assembly for this week. Hope you've had a good start to this quite rainy wet week um, but I know you're all working incredibly hard again for week three of lockdown. Um, I've seen again lots of amazing work on your good classrooms and I've been into some classrooms already this week and I've been so impressed by your hard work and commitment whether that's online or in school you keep persevering so well done and again big shout out to our teachers and parents um, for doing fantastic things right now and I know it's a challenge you've got lots of things going on in your own lives and at home and working busy as well so thank you for your support and for everything you're doing we um also put a parent survey out at the beginning of this week so if you haven't already I would encourage all parents to take part in that we've had some really really lovely feedback um, which is fantastic for us to read and we will be going through all of that at the end of this week we will make sure we contact parents directly if you need us to and we will be putting some changes in place and I'll be writing to parents at the end of this week to let them know about some of the small changes we're making so in today's assembly we're going to spend a bit of time talking about how you can stay safe online now, most of you are working remotely at the moment, whether that's at home, some of you are in school, but you're all working remotely using Google Classroom and online resources to help you with your learning at the moment. So I wanted to spend some time today checking in with you all to make sure you know where you can go to and who you can talk to if you have any worries or concerns. And then we're going to spend a good chunk of this assembly watching a really fantastic and helpful assembly courtesy of the NSPCC and I hope you enjoy it um, but also make sure you listen carefully and take note of it so we've got a really important message it's um, it's normally an assembly that we would be having in the hall around about now but we can't do that for obvious reasons so uh, the NSPCC have kindly put a um, an online version um, onto YouTube and I've managed to put it in here so all being well we'll watch that at the end of this Okay, so what I'm gonna do before we watch that uh, assembly from the NSPCC is to talk you through a document that you're gonna be receiving this week, um, which is a child-friendly version of our safeguarding policy. Now you may have seen the word safeguarding written up across the school in different places on posters. Um, and I wanted just to be really clear that everyone understands what that means. So at Pickhurst, all the adults around you think that obviously your health and safety and welfare is incredibly important and that's our one of our main jobs to keep you safe and to help protect you when you're at school it's also our job to help protect you when you're not at school so we help teach you and make sure you learn about the risks that happen outside of school whether that's crossing the road online safety friendships keeping yourselves private and and not sharing information online all of those things is comes under safeguarding. And in school, we protect you by giving you a safe environment for you to learn in. And we make sure that we also make sure that you have a safe place to work and be at home as well, as well as school. And it is important for you to know that we're help, we are here to help you if you're, un, if you're unhappy or worried about something as well. Now you'll see this poster around school uh, in all your classrooms, if you remember, we have safeguarding leaders in the school. So myself as a safeguarding leader, we've got Mrs. Bracey as a safeguarding leader, and we've also got Mrs. Hayward as a safeguarding leader. Now you may see me and Mrs. Bracey around a lot, a lot of the school. Uh, Mrs. Hayward works with our children in Jupiter and Saturn classrooms, but you may see all of us at different times during the day. Now, we are trained to be safeguarding leaders. That is our job as well as keeping you safe and make sure you're educated. We have to make sure that you're safeguarded. Now, we are in charge of taking things further if we need to, and your teachers are doing an amazing job in keeping in touch with you, working hard with you on Google Classroom. But it's important that you know that even though you're not in school at the moment, you can still get in touch with your teachers via the, um, Google Classroom or via your Gmail email straight to your teachers and they will speak to the safeguarding team if they need to, to make sure that we're keeping you as safe as we can. And here's some important information that I, I know you've seen and it's on, the, it's on the display board outside my office. Don't keep it a secret if someone is upsetting you, someone is saying things that you do not like or make you sad, someone is touching you where they shouldn't, 
or someone is hitting or hurting you, or someone is sending you unkind messages on the internet to your phone or iPad. Now, this last point is really important because most of you, like I say, are working remotely at the moment. So it's important that if you receive anything that's unkind, you must talk to someone. You've got your parents at home, your carers at home, any family members, or again, speak to your teachers. They will let the safeguarding team know if we need to maybe call your parents to let them know so that we can help you as well. But it's important you don't keep it a secret. You must talk to someone. And we've added this page today, Speak Out, Stay Safe, which is a the strap line from um, NSPCC who work with Childline. Now, lots of children sometimes need some support and that is fine, we all need help at times. And the NSPCC and Childline are there for everybody, for all children, for all different reasons. There is always someone for you to talk to if you're feeling worried about something. And on this page, you've got some information that you can use if you need to contact somebody outside of your household, if you just want someone to talk to confidentially, if you can't speak to a parent or carer or a family member or a teacher about something, you can speak to Childline. And the assembly that we're about to watch, thanks to the NSPCC, is the assembly that we would normally have in school every year. So it's important, I wanted to share, with this, uh, share this assembly with you remotely today. So I hope you enjoy it. It's got some familiar faces at the beginning, which I'm sure you'll know, um, but it's got an important message and I hope you do just take note of it um, and, and remember there's always someone that you can talk to. You're not, even though you're at home, we're still very much in school and here to help you. So make sure you reach out if you need support, whether that's your homework, classwork, friendship issues, or something that's going on at home that makes you feel upset or worried. We're here to talk, okay? So enjoy the assembly and I look forward to seeing you all and all of your amazing work on Friday for this week's celebration assembly. Have a good rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, Ant and Deck here. Now, just like everyone else, we've spent the last few months socially distancing to help stop the coronavirus from spreading. But it's not just friendships that are suffering. Thank you. This is Buddy. Hiya, buddy. Now, Buddy normally spends his time traveling around schools doing assemblies with his partner in crime, Sally from the NSPCC. They gave children information about what to do if they're going through things that are hard to deal with. You might have seen them visiting your school. Over to you, Deck. Hi, Buddy. Buddy and his buddies from the NSPCC haven't been able to do any assemblies. And at the same time, there's a whole load of new things for people to worry about, like not seeing your friends and family or, or being concerned about catching the virus. So when Buddy and the NSPCC asked us to help to find a way to get the message out there, we put our heads together to come up with a plan. We'll broadcast an assembly on the internet and get Sally from the NSPCC to present it. Great idea. Let's call Sally. Hi, Sally. Is that an deck? It certainly is. Now, how do you feel about doing a special NSPCC Speak Out Stay Safe assembly over the internet? It'll just be like a normal assembly, but with a lot more children from all across the country watching online. We're up for it, but I haven't got a buddy. Oh, well, now you have. Incoming! Oh! Hello! Sorry, David. I think we um, must have got some crossed lines. We were trying to get Buddy to Sally from the NSPCC, who's doing a very special Speak Out Stay Safe assembly. Ooh. Sounds fun. Well, I guess you'll be wanting me to be your fancy pants presenter. <laughs> How hard can it be, guys? Are we sitting comfortably? Then let us begin. Over to you, Sally. Thanks, David. Hi, buddy. And hi, everyone. Welcome to the NSPCC Speak Out Stay Safe Assembly here online. 
Nadia and I are from a charity called the NSPCC and we go all over the UK speaking to children about how to speak out and stay safe. So, you've met Buddy, our mascot, but what do you think he looks like? That's right, he's a green speech bubble. And Buddy's a green speech bubble because he believes all children have the right to speak out and stay safe. Don't we, Buddy? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some children's worries and how they can speak to trusted adults about them. And we'll also talk a little bit about child line. Some of you might already know the child line number, so we'll get a chance to practice that again later. And we'll talk about the child line website, which some of you may have looked on before, but we'll have a little bit more of a detailed look into that too. Does that sound like a plan? Great. Buddy and I usually go around to schools across the UK, but as we know, things have been a little bit different recently. So, hands up though, if when we've been visiting before, if you've met Buddy. Wow, that's lots of you. Now, some of you might be watching this at home and some of you might be watching it in school. And if you are in school, is it feeling a little bit different to normal? The schools have changed recently and things have been closed and we've had to stay home a lot more. That's because of a virus called COVID-19 or coronavirus. It's a new virus that's affecting people across the world and it sometimes affects people's lungs and airways. The symptoms include a very high temperature and a cough that you've never had before. It doesn't seem to impact children as much as it impacts older people and people that are already feeling very unwell. Most people that get the coronavirus fully recover without even having to go to the doctor. And experts here in the UK and across the world are currently working on treatments and ways to keep people safe. The coronavirus has changed our lives in many different ways. We've had to stay at home more. We've not been able to see our friends or family. Not all children are going to school and family and friends are having to keep in touch online. Our daily routines have changed and we're spending a lot more time with the people we live with. This can make us feel lots of different emotions. Some people may be feeling really happy as they're trying new things and other children may be feeling quite worried and anxious, which is completely understandable at this time and need someone to talk to. It's really important if a child feels worried or sad they have someone to talk to. Over the last few weeks we've got a lot of contacts at Childline from children that are feeling worried or anxious. Let's take a look at my sack. Who can tell me what they think this looks like? Is it heavy? Is it light? That's right, it's light. I could fold this up, pop it in my pocket and walk around all day and not even know it was there. What I want to do is I'm going to put a brick inside the sack for every worry that we can think of and see if it makes a difference to how heavy it is. Does that sound okay? Brilliant, let's start. So, I was in my last year at school and I didn't get to say goodbye to my friends. That's really worrying, isn't it? I don't know when I'm gonna see my friends again. I get really scared that this could go on for months. Not knowing when it's gonna finish is a really, really unsettling feeling, isn't it? My granddad lives on his own and I'm really worried about how he looks after himself. I'm really worried my grandma's gonna get the virus. I think that's a really worrying feeling that make anyone feel worried. Let's pop that in there. My sack is getting a lot heavier now. My dad works in the hospital and I'm really worried that he will get sick. My sisters are bullying me and I have to stay home. That is not okay, is it? No, me and Buddy don't think bullying is okay. There have been lots of arguments at home and I find it really upsetting. Maybe you have other worries too that we've not mentioned here. Everyone is different and reacts in different ways, but there's help out there for you too. You can see now that my sack is really, really, really heavy. Can you imagine how hard that must be for a child or young person walking around with all of those worries? That wouldn't be very good, would it? Not having anyone to talk to or return to. Let's see if we can lighten the load, shall we? Take a minute and think of some trusted adults in your life that could help lighten the load. we mention I'm going to take a brick out of the sack. Does that sound like a good idea? Brilliant. Okay. Mm. So, trusted adults. What trusted adults can we think of? A parent or carer would be a good one. Yes, fantastic. A parent or carer, our first brick out of the sack. A grandparent, and if you can't see them at the moment, you can talk to them on the phone or use the laptop. A teacher or a member of staff. If you're at school, you can speak to them, can't you? Auntie or uncle. An auntie or uncle is a good one. 
It's really important if we do have an auntie or uncle, they're over the age of 18. A brother or sister, a brother or sister is a brilliant one as long as they're over the age of 18. A neighbour, a neighbour is a really, really good one as well, especially as we're at home so much at the minute, so that's a great one. Oh, it's getting lighter. A social worker or a counsellor. If you can't see them face to face, you could always try and phone them. Oh, my last one, last but not least, Childline. Childline is there for all children. Fantastic. Wow, look at the difference in my sack. We've emptied it, we've thought of trusted adults, children to speak to, and my sack has gone back to being light again. If some of your trusted adults aren't at home at the moment, you could always try calling them or even sending them a message. It's natural to be worried about what's happening in the world at the minute. So it's really important if they feel anxious, worried, sad, to tell a trusted adult. It's never ever a child's fault. And if you do tell a trusted adult and nothing changes, keep speaking out. Tell another trusted adult until something changes. If you can't think of any trusted adults or you can't talk to them for any reason, you could always contact Childline. Childline is a service for children and young people to contact and it's only for them. If they're scared or worried about anything, Children contact Childline for all sorts of reasons. Whatever the worry, Childline will listen carefully and trust whatever you say. No problem is too big or too small. What a child says to Childline stays with Childline. The only times I'd ever share what a child has said to Childline is if they're really worried or concerned about them or if the child asks them to. It doesn't happen very often and they don't do it without being really sure that it's the best thing for the child. You can get in touch with Childline by phone or online and speak to Childline about anything you want to. You don't even have to give your name if you don't want to. The number's really, really easy to remember. Should we do it together? I'll try it first, then you will do it together, shall we? Brilliant, okay, so it's 08001111. Simple, are you ready to do it with me? After three, one, two, three, Fantastic. It's free to call, so you don't need any credit on your mobile phone if you want to call. And it's completely confidential. It won't show up on your phone bill. Due to the coronavirus, the times have changed slightly, so it's now open 9 a.m. till midnight. So you can call at any time between 9 a.m. and midnight. On the Childline website, there's lots and lots of different information. If you haven't been on there before, definitely have a look. It's childline.org.uk forward slash kids. The website is full of information about the coronavirus, but also different tools to help if you're feeling worried or anxious. Sometimes we know that children feel worried about contacting Childline because they don't know what's going to happen. We've put together a short film for you to look at so you completely understand what would happen if you contact Childline. Are you ready to have a look at it with me? Fantastic. I reckon I can chat to anyone about anything. Well, almost anything. My mum says I could talk the hind leg of a donkey, whatever that means. But I had this problem. I couldn't work out how to get rid of it. It just seemed to keep getting bigger and bigger in my head and I didn't know who I could talk to. There was mum, of course. She's good at advice. And my teachers too, some of them are okay. And if I felt really stuck, or if it was an emergency, I knew I could even go to the police. But for now, I wanted to keep things to myself, so I thought I might speak to Childline. I'd heard you could talk to them about anything. The only thing was I wasn't sure how I should talk to them. I mean, who would I be talking to? What would happen? And would anyone else get to know about it? I didn't want the whole world knowing my business. So I went on the Childline site and found loads of information. Like I saw that it was completely free. And you can talk to Childline online as well as call them. It works the same way as on the phone. It's just that you're typing instead of talking. Either way, I'd be in charge of what was said and what would happen next. They weren't going to go passing it on, so I could trust them with as much or as little as I wanted. I could even give them a different name if it made it easier. I thought about chatting online, but I guess I find it easier to talk about stuff, so I decided to phone. I checked when I could call, and it said any time, so I just went for it. After I dialed the number, I suddenly felt... Oh, I was thinking about hanging up, but I'd come this far, so what did I have to lose? Then someone answered. This man went, hi, you're through to Childline. I've got this problem, I said. I don't think anyone will understand. Would you like to talk to someone about it, he said. Yeah, I said, but I don't want anyone to find out. He said that was fine. The call would just be between me and the counsellor. Unless they got worried I was really in danger. That might change things. That made sense. So he said he'd put me in a queue to talk to a counsellor. All I had to do was stay on the line. So I waited. And I was starting to feel like I shouldn't have called. I felt a bit sick. 
But after a while, this woman, the counsellor, came on the line. I couldn't get my words out at first. It's not like me. But she said, don't worry, take your time. So I told her all about it. She was great. She didn't talk much to start off. She just let me say everything. I asked her, so what do you reckon I should do? She asked me if I had any ideas and we started talking again. We figured out that I had some choices and they could all work out in different ways. I could see there was something I could do to change stuff after all. That was amazing. Just doing that, all of a sudden it felt like I had a plan. It wasn't like I'd made an idiot of myself and I hadn't blabbed to the entire world. The call wouldn't even appear on the phone bill. It felt like I was in charge and that I could really trust them. They just listened and helped me decide what I wanted to do. It felt great. Child line is open between 9am and midnight at the moment. That's really important to remember. All children have the right to speak out and be heard, be safe and get help when they need it. I think that's fair, don't you? What have we talked about today? Buddy, can you remember? What have we talked about today? We've talked a lot today about trusted adults and how important it is to keep speaking out and stay safe. We've talked about child line and the different ways you can speak to them about your worries. We've been talking about what's happening to help remind ourselves that we're not alone. Every day at the NSPCC, we work really hard to keep children safe and then there are a lot of different ways that you can help too. You can do your bit by looking out for all children by telling everyone to speak out and stay safe. So, let's do this together. After three, we're going to point to ourselves and we're going to say, I have the right to speak out and stay safe. One, two, three. I, I have, have the right, right to speak, speak out and stay, stay safe. safe. Now, I want you to point to anybody else you're in the room with and say you have the right to speak out and stay safe. After three. One, two, three. You, you have, have the, the right, right to speak, speak out and stay, stay safe. safe. Now, all together, thumbs in the air, I want us to say it as loud as we can, we all have the right to speak out and stay safe. After three. One, two, three. We, we all, all have, have the right to speak out and stay, stay safe. safe. We hope you've enjoyed this special broadcast of our Speak Out Stay Safe Assembly. Remember, you can contact Childline about anything, however big or small. You can contact them on phone or using our online chat. And they'll be ready and waiting to listen to you. You can get in touch at childline.org.uk forward slash kids or call a counsellor on 08 For any parents, carers or supporters that have watched today, we'd greatly appreciate any donations that you can make. It's very simple to do on our Facebook page or our website. And remember, all children have the right to speak out and be heard, be safe and get help when they need it. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.